I love making films, and I always have. I tackle every project with the same level of passion. I mean, you have to believe in what you're doing in order to make a good film. One of our biggest productions was a feature film, and it was about a struggle between different generations on a farm in the American Midwest. That inheritance is your reward. And now it's your turn for a rest. I love you, Charlie. I love you too, Mom. And I'm so proud of you. The film was an official selection at film festivals in New York, LA, and Asheville, North Carolina. That old man never had one pleasant word for me in his whole miserable life. And you know something, Charlie? You are good for nothing. You're the biggest fraud this town's ever seen. Everybody calling you champ. Ha, champ, champ. You was always pushing me. And I'm sick of it, you hear me? I've had enough of you pushing me. Where are you? I remember being at screenings, and it was an overwhelming experience. I mean, to, to watch and listen to people's reactions to this film that I had put so much of myself into. And I mean, all of us had. And it became very clear to me that, that the reason I love directing is the ability to affect people emotionally. The first time we worked together, uh, we were producing uh, two documentaries at the same time for TV. Uh, one of them was about the artistic legacy of the Grand River Valley in Ontario, and the second one was about the uh, Trans-Canada Trail. Logistically, it was really challenging because we had to shoot across the country and on two documentaries simultaneously. Oh, it was amazing. It was, it was one of the most exciting things I'd ever done. It was funny because it was Aaron's first time in the mountains, and he was so excited that he nearly fired off all the film he had in his little camera just on the way to our first location. I wouldn't trade it for the world. We've been lucky enough to go uh, coast to coast on different projects since. We knew then that we were starting to build a production team that was incredibly capable, you know, able to do a lot with very little in terms of resources. We take pride in our ability to take on a variety of projects in different genres. Every day is a new challenge and you know there's always something different and interesting. Uh, sometimes we've had to go into some pretty sketchy places. We were in Winnipeg's North End uh, shooting a documentary about youth leaders who are working to try to improve conditions in their communities. So we're walking up to this intersection and there are broken windows on the houses everywhere leading up to it. We, we were looking around and we thought you know, wow, should we really be here right now? And Michael, the fellow who's on camera, uh, he's telling us that right in the spot where we're standing, uh, two weeks before, uh, a teenager was shot. Just on this corner, I know there was a shooting a couple weeks ago where a kid that uh, we knew from the resource center passed away. Uh, later that very same day, another youth that we knew, he was shot. But here's this guy we're filming who lives there. I mean, he can't leave. His house is just down the street. Somebody else was shot in front of a suspected uh, crack house. There's kind of frequently not a lot of good things going on. The Pressure Cooker is a reality type TV show. And it is a, it's a, essentially a really intense culinary competition. in which uh, some of the top chefs across Canada uh, basically went head to head in the kitchen. The show was shot with, uh, with 10 cameras running simultaneously for seven days in a row. One of the biggest challenges was coordinating so many different camera operators. There was uh, this really intense competition happening on camera and those people you know, were being tested to their own emotional and physical limits. Uh, behind the scenes, we were going through our own pressure cooker. But shooting the program was really just the beginning. It was probably the most involved edit uh, I've ever been involved with. Mostly because 
of the sheer amount of footage that came in, but also because of the tight deadlines that we were on. We found it very fulfilling because this isn't just a show about cooking, it's not just a show about food. Uh, ultimately, we have a show that we're very proud of, um, and it's about people. As a filmmaker, you discover these worlds that you wouldn't otherwise be exposed to. We recently finished probably our most exciting documentary to date. It's about a group of motorsport enthusiasts who do a rare form of motorcycle racing called sidecar racing. It was, uh, it was Kelly who got us into this one. And they really are this great community of daredevils. Basically I have uh, three positions here to start. And my job right now is to load up the back wheel. This thing will not accelerate. The, the wheel will just spin unless my weight is here. I couldn't anticipate how wild this project was going to be. I mean, we started with one day of filming, and the idea was that we'd, we'd see if this was, in fact, a story that was worth telling. It's the uh, fastest road course in the world today because it's remained unchanged. And uh, we're 628 acres currently, and uh, it's like a national park. Oh, we instantly bonded with this group of people. They were really just one big happy family and they welcomed us with open arms. It was, it was such a cool experience. And as much as it's designed to be this edgy, thrilling ride, we managed to find an emotional side to it too. The airplane flight was almost $70,000 just to bring him from England to the United States because he had to have two doctors and a nurse on board and then they had to have a return flight back. So it was a, it was a lot of money to get him here. Um, I'm glad that he's home because um, now he's got friends that stop in daily. He bumped his head, his, his brain actually sloshed forward inside his skull. He, he lost recognition of a lot of things. He's reading now, he's watching TV. Um, his short-term memory is the part that we're working on, but every day, every week, we see a little bit of more progress. And so we pray to God every day that it, he gets better. We have come to specialize in a certain type of programming. We call it promotion through storytelling. I believe Aaron actually coined the term for us. It's the idea that every project has a, has a message. And around that message, we build a creative story. And we always tell the story with emotion. We've done documentaries. Feature films. Commercials. Educational programming. Reality TV series. We shoot. We edit. We write. We produce. We have the resources to take on just about anything. We continue to pursue meaningful stories about interesting people, whether it be for film, television, the internet. The bottom line is we absolutely love what we do. As a company, we've been growing since the day we started, so I figure we must be doing something right. I think our success is based on the partnerships that exist, not only with our clients, but among us here uh, within the company itself. We all have our own strengths as a production team, and I think we complement each other perfectly. <laughs>